All right, what we're gonna do, we're going to start with number nine, then I'll show you number 10. First, you set it up just like you would normally. So the only thing though, it's gonna take a little bit more space than it has in the past. So to do that, I'm gonna do it on another sheet of paper. You can do it where you feel like. Now you write 1.1 times 10 to the negative third. Now, notice that I have put something in the box below, which before I didn't do. This is why it's important now. And this is also something you already know inherently. If you've ever ridden in a car and thought about how fast you're going, you know how this you know, dual unit thing works. You just probably never thought about it before. I mean, if you're traveling 70 miles per hour, that means you're going to go 70 miles in how many hours? In, an hour. in one hour, right? Yes. So if we're going at 1.1 times 10 to the negative third kilometers or something, some derived unit here, that means that's per one milligram. The bottom number is always one in this first one, always. Is this one different from the other ones? What do you mean? Is it the same way no, other ways? You'll see. Ask me after. So. Here's the thing, now, if you look at, you're allowed to ask questions, it's fine, huh? just don't scream things out foolishly. Or try to stick your ID under here like Yusuf Slim did last year, every, <laughs> I truly do. Gets quick. Anyway, so we've got kilometers right here, what's got to go in the bottom spot here? Kilometers. Every time, yes, kilometers. Now, question though. If you think about this, we cancel out diagonally from left to right, so from, as we go from the bottom to the top, what would you think should be written right here? Milligrams, Milligrams right? But that, no, but don't do that. That's wrong. It doesn't work like that. Because is there a way, is there a way to say, you know, hey, this is a kilometer. Like, I can't convert between kilometers and grams automatically. Like, can you tell me how much a mile weighs? I can't tell you. I, I mean, do you have any idea, like, how much how much does a mile weigh? It depends. Yes, how much does a kilometer weigh? It depends how thick the road is. Yes, it is. What if, it, what if it's a mile of string? Um, no, no, I've, you see my point, you can't directly convert. I see your point. So, what we're going to do, we are going to do two conversions on the same line. Two conversions on the same line, and then that's it. Now, the way it'll work. Yeah, uh, What we do. Our first conversion is kilometers to millimeters. So we're just going to go kilometers to millimeters. Yes, then we're going to do milligrams next. So let's just do that. We put millimeters up here. And then you need to get out your chart. And we're going to go all the way from kilometers to millimeters in one step. Yep, so you count one, two, three, four, five, six steps. I'll get you one in a minute, okay? So we counted six steps. You should remember this from before. One kilometer is equal to, I mean, six steps is what number then? One million or, as I prefer, ten to the sixth. Now cancel out your kilometers you're left with millimeters. So part one of our problem is done. Do we have questions on that? Yeah. Where'd you get kilometers? One kilometer. Because remember, in one kilometer, there are a million millimeters. And okay. That's fine. All right, next. Next, we have milligrams now. So what are we doing with milligrams? We're going from milligrams to? To kilograms. This is as high as I can make. If you can't see, I'm sorry. So, what we got to do now? We're basically going to pretend like this spot doesn't exist, and we're just going to say, you know what? If we got milligrams here, what's got to go up in this spot here? Milligrams. Milligrams. So, we write milligrams up there, and all we're doing is just now the opposite way. And what are we going to? We're going kilo or milligrams to kilograms. You'll notice that's why I wrote this out to keep track of things. 
I, I write this on purpose for me because it allows me to keep track easily. Yeah. No. Yeah, you can you can use yeah that is a value measurement. You can use any metric prefix to apply to any base unit. It doesn't mean the same thing, but just because it's got the same prefix, okay? It doesn't mean the same thing. So if the prefix isn't on the tape and it has to be the first column in the middle of the model machine. Yeah, generally. You won't get a prefix that's not on it, though. You never will. So what we've got here, we're going kilograms to milligrams. That's again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So our conversion again is one kilogram is equal to ten to the sixth milligrams. So, all we need to do now is simply do the math. It's this times this times this. And if you remember, again, the exponential way when you multiply exponents together. You're supposed to add them. Yep, you add them. You don't even need to use a calculator to solve this. You can just go 1.1 times 10, and then what's negative 3 plus 6 plus 6? Nine. 9. And if you look, our units cancel out again, and we're left with... Millimeters, millimeters over kilograms. 